Hey guys, welcome back to the Six Gear channel. And in today's review, today's review, we're going to be taking a look at a 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track in Oxford White. I am so incredibly happy that these trucks are finally starting to land. And we got one here at Parkway Ford in Kitchener Waterloo area in Waterloo. And they let me borrow it to actually do a review on it. So without any further ado, let's take a look, guys. All right, everyone, so finally, we get to take a look here at the Ford Bronco Wild Track here, and it just, it looks so good. It's totally beat my expectations of what I thought it would look like. It looks so badass, I have to say, but guys, let's just dive right into it here. We have your signature Wild Track front headlights and the signature front grill, which looks absolutely amazing. It looks so, so good in person. I can't tell you how good it actually looks. It just, words can't describe it. So headlights here, love, love the signature LED halos. They look really, really good. Really brings out the beefiness of Bronco. We have your LED fog light down below. Now we do have some parking sensors. We have two on each side. So two over there and then two that carry out through the other side. Right in the middle here, we actually have functional grill shutters here that actually open and close, of course. And then here are your tow hooks. So one here, one over on the other side. And now with the wild track, you get about 11 and a half inches of clearance, which is really, really big. So as we can see here, there's tons and tons of room. There's no bush bar here on this one, but you can opt for the module metal bush bar, which I think looks so, so good. But again, I can't tell you how nice this is. I, you have to see one in person. They look so, so good and so beefy. I love the whole front end. Now with this actually having the high package, it comes standard with the 360 camera right here in the center, but you actually do have to get the high package in order to get that 360 camera. Now, another cool thing too with Bronco is your hood trail sight. So these are pretty cool. They're actually about, they're weighted for about 150 pounds. And it's nice, obviously when you're off-roading, if you're looking down or up, you can kind of see where your fender is going to, to be, right? When you're heading downhill or uphill rather. Now the hood actually is, doesn't have too much bulging. It just has some bulging right on the sides here, which I actually don't mind. But again, with the 35 inch tires with the Sasquatch package, which is standard on Wild Track, you get the extended flares, which obviously adds a lot more character to it and to obviously give it that offset right on the side. So let's dive deep into the 2.7 motor here that is the only option for Wild Track. All right, guys, so let's dive into the 2.7 liter motor here. That is the only option for Wild Track with the 10 speed auto. So, right here, we have a 2.7 liter EcoBoost turbocharged motor producing 310 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Again, made it to the 10 speed auto. It honestly sounds really, really good um, considering it's, it's pulled from the truck motor, but it is honestly very quick, very powerful. I don't hear too much turbo noise either, so it's pretty quiet in that sense, but I think it was actually a good option for Ford to actually put this in here. So that is it underneath the hood of this Bronco. Let's take a look around the exterior. All right, guys, so let's take a look around the exterior of the Bronco. So having this have the Sasquatch package, you do get the 35 inch Goodyear territory tires on 17 inch aluminum rims which i think look really really good it makes the bronco stand up a little bit higher if you're going to take it off road 100 you're going to need these types of tires and the small rim now you actually do i don't know if you can see here with the bilstein front shocks try to get a little bit of a view in there can't wait for people to actually take this off roading and see what people do with the suspension tuning of them now the nice thing is too is that there's since there's so much customization you know you can actually take these fenders off and i guarantee you that there will be some accessories or there probably are accessories for fenders for the Bronco. But that is it for the front here. Now we do have the Wild Trek sticker on the side. Kind of wish for it actually put something a little bit nicer than just a sticker, but again, shows you what trim you actually have. Now you can get optional running boards, but without having running boards, I think it makes the side look a little bit cleaner. Now something I forgot, but I know Bronco has is obviously the mirror caps or I put right in front of the window here. Now, obviously for reasons for taking your door off for safety reasons, of course, but when you are driving it, you do notice the mirror is obviously slightly back and it is, it's a cool little thing when you're driving, you're like, oh wow, my mirrors are actually not on my door. They're actually on mounted on my hood. So I think it's really, really cool, but you do have your mirror light here and you do have a 360 camera, so cameras over here, but the glass again is very slanted almost, it's not almost 90 degrees, but 
approaching there. I mean, when you look at it, it'll think it looks really, really good. Bronco here as well, tells you the date when Bronco actually came out, and there's the VIN there, which is awesome. Now this does have the WellTrack graphics package, so you do get some stickering over on the sides, as well as on the hood here. So as you can see here, we have WellTrack, a little bit of a nice cool sticker there. Give you a glimpse of what the side looks like, side profile. I think it looks really, really good, especially with this being the four door. I personally would go with the four door. I mean, obviously it's gonna be different for everyone depending on what your uses of this is, but there's the side of the Bronco here, full four door. Now the nice thing is too, it does have keyless entry only on the front two doors. So with the key in your pocket, you can lock it and then there's a sensor behind here to grab and you can unlock it. You can get an optional key code here if you'd like, but again, that's totally up to you. There's a look at the back tire here as well. Same type of tire, obviously, that's in the front and rim. The Oxford White actually looks really good with the rim option here. I think it suits the com combination very well, if that makes sense. So the black, contrast to the, the black stickering and the Oxford White, and then obviously this being the hard top, you actually have that open glass rear end, which is cool. So it's pretty much it for the side, guys. Let's take a look at the rear end of the Bronco. All right, so coming back here at the rear end of the Bronco, one thing that I do really like is actually the tail lights themselves. I like how they're LEDs. They're not too big, they're not too small. I think they fit it very well. Obviously you have that spare tire in the back, which looks great too. Bronco right here on the side, on the right. And this does have the optional trailer hitch, which is awesome. You're rated about 3,500 pounds, which is not too bad, but now the exhaust actually doesn't sound too bad. Let's actually take a listen. You have your tow hook here as well. Now, rear view camera is here for obvious reasons, so you can see out back. Then we have some parking sensors back here. We only have four, so two, one here, one here, and then one underneath the tire, as you can see down below, and then one over here as well. I will actually give you guys a glimpse of what the bottom rear end looks like here with the Bilsteins in the back. Solid rear axle right in the back here. Um, tons and tons of ground clearance. So again, don't be worried with the wild track for your ground clearance. Now opening up the back trunk area, I thought it would actually be a little bit more heavy, but it's not, so really light. The only kind of tension you'll get here is at the end, which is not too bad. The nice thing is too, with the hard top, you actually get the rear glass compartment, which I like a lot. I think it just kind of completes it very nicely. Opening that up. I think the whole back end of the Bronco looks really, really good, especially the opening. Tons and tons of room utility wise. Got some storage in here as well. Over here on the other side, we just have a 12 volt and then your light here, that's got the Bronco logo right there. Do you see that? It's got the Bronco logo. Just to let you know you're in a Bronco. Some more storage back here, but putting the seats down again, 60, 40 split, not too bad, nothing too crazy. I mean, I don't know what else you'd, you would really do back here unless put stuff. Right down below here, we have your tire jack and a little bit more storage and that's it for the back trunk. I'll close this up again so you guys have a better view of the Bronco in the rear end. But you have to actually close this completely and open this completely to actually open the back end here. So what I mean by that is if you try to open that glass door, you might get caught right here in the corner. So you actually have to open this completely. But nonetheless, still really nice to have that option, especially like I said with the hard top. So that's pretty much it for the back guys. Let's take a look at the rear seats of the interior. All right guys, so coming into the back end of the Ford Bronco Wildtrak. So again, you get that sandstone interior. This one actually is the leather option, which I like, looks really good. So soft touch material here. We have your door handle here, lock and unlock is here. You can just do that as with manually. Soft touch material here. Again, it's, you're not gonna find too much luxury, obviously, being in this vehicle. Um, for the luxury that's already in it, I think it's already enough. Nice materials, I wouldn't say they're you know luxurious, but you're not buying this to have a luxurious vehicle at the end of the day. We'll take a look at the seats here. So all nicely leather appointed in this one, this option here, which I really, really like. Looks really good. The sandstone interior, I think, fits it nicely. This one does have the all-weather mats in here with the Bronco logo in the center, which I like a lot. Now coming into the center here, we have some cool things here, some power options, so household, USB, USB-C. Your window controls are down here for obvious reasons if you take off the door. Now it does say up here, no step. 
So I guess if you don't want to step up here, then don't step because it says no step. Now this does have the sound deadening carpeted roof ceiling, but the amount of headroom back here is incredible. Now these seats do not move, they're stationary. They only fold forward, they only recline, or rather they just kind of move, go forward just like that. But again, it makes for a flat floor. Now let's step in here and I'll show you how I sit. So again, you got the holy crap handle here. And there's no running board, so it's a little bit of a pain. But honestly, I, I'm about 5'10", 5'11". This is where I would sit pretty much at the front end. And this is how much room I have. So I have about, I would say, six inches of room, which is pretty good. All right, right so let's climb out of here. That's pretty much it for the back, guys. Let's actually take a look at the cockpit front view of the Ford Bronco. All right, guys, so diving deep into the Ford Bronco here in the driver's seat where all the action happens. So, door panel, same type of material, same type of feel, soft touch material up here. Even if it's supposed to get wet, the material is supposed to be durable in all types of weather. So that's why if you're looking for luxury, this ain't it. Lock and unlock is on here. Again, soft touch material, soft padding. Hand rest is here. Got some storage again down below. Power seats are here as well on the wild track. Same type of layout here like the f-150s and pretty much all the ford products now your light controls are here fog lights these are your mirror lights so you have mirror lights on the mirrors here on the exterior parking brake and then your hood releases here as well nice little handle here to get in which i really really like i use this a lot actually to get in if you don't have any running boards but the overall interior like i said looks pretty much the same the seat layout is a little different here you got the bronco logo here and again that sandstone interior looks really really good i think even on the dash i mean it's not leather or anything like that but again everything's supposed to be durable so that's pretty much it guys before we enter the bronco let's take a look at the interior all right guys so let's actually take a look now at the interior of the bronco here so the whole setup here is actually a lot different from pretty much any ford product that is on the market right now i think they wanted to obviously make it bronco specific but let's start with the steering wheel steering wheel actually feels really really good i do wish this was just a little bit bigger so i can put my whole hand in there but again that's just personal preference the material here is different these control the actually the front infotainment screen in there which is a lot different than any other ford product i know this is taken from the bronco sport so now controlling the front infotainment is actually pretty easy all we got to do is hit this back button here and we can go to different views. So I like the my view. So you can go to different views. So my your fuel economy, your tripometer, off-road status is actually pretty cool. I like that. Uh, you can actually configure again more screens. The comm screen is actually pretty nice too. When you leave it there, it just kind of stretches everything out. Now I do like to actually take off my lane keeping assist, so I can actually just have the whole screen just be my RPMs and my kilometers an hour, which I think it looks pretty good. But nonetheless controlling that screen is through here so we'll go over some other stuff with you guys so you can go to trip odometers you can go to your average speed which is only 16 kilometers an hour this thing's barely been driven auto stop starts here as well this is cool your off-road status so you can see your pitch and roll here your, de your departure angles and that kind of thing i think that's awesome you're off it's just there's so many options here guys so i'll just go through most of them here with you so you can see tire pressures your gauges here for your oil pressures your battery voltage if you want to turbo boost we got oil temperature your transmission temperature your battery voltage again pretty cool stuff uh what else can we go through? like that was just through that off-road setting we have navigation here which is awesome um, you can set your navigation here your phone what else do we have just audio and settings so pretty standard stuff I won't go through all of it but i like the comm screen controlling is just through these buttons here these are your toggles here for your infotainment voice command call hang up so it's call hang up and call pickup interesting now with this being the high package um, not the lugs package you actually don't get the adaptive cruise or heat steering wheel over here we have your cruise control and uh, volume settings here of course pretty standard stuff window stocks here as well and you can control your rear wiper too. Now again, the dash here, it's all hard touch materials because if you're gonna take the roof off, it's just gonna start raining or get dirty, it's easy to clean and wipe off, okay? So most Bronco owners know that, but if someone doesn't, then uh, it's, this car is not for you. We got some buttons up here, which we'll go over. So we have your locking front diff here, locking of the rear diff. 
This is actually pretty cool. This is your trail turn assist. So what this actually is, is it tightens off roading turn, your turning radius um, with torque vectoring, which is actually really, really cool that they offer that. And then traction control and then your hazards as well. So that's pretty much it for the top guys. You can actually put a bar here and mount like GoPros, which is awesome. Um, if you want to kind of show off your off-roading skills. So you can do that, put that up here, which is a cool option. Here we have uh, no glove box up here. We just have Bronco, your vents, of course. And then over here is your glove box down below. Actually a decent amount of storage back here. I actually don't mind it. It's a lot of space there, which I was surprised. Now. Let's take a look at the screen. So this is the 12 inch SYNC 4 display screen here for Bronco. I love SYNC 4, it's very intuitive, very useful, and it just works very, very well. Um, I have went over it in most of my videos, but I'll go over it pretty much again in this video here. So audio, all of your controls for your like hotkeys are down below. So phone, nav, um, your app settings are all down here. Now the nice thing is too, if you wanted to switch these two screens, cause you do have two screen options, you can push this little button here, just like that, and it will swap it over. So again, if you wanna just have your nav over here and then your audio here, but you can have some other stuff here. So if you go through this here, you have zone lighting, which is awesome. You can do that. Your off-road status, fuel economy, your tripometers, your phone, and again your audio um, now going into features hitting this button here you can go into your different features of the vehicle so you can go to your driver assistance which is awesome and that will occupy some of your safety features you can change or turn off if you'd like zone lighting is cool zone lighting is a feature basically if you wanted to go somewhere at night or anywhere in general that might be dark you can turn on all lights around the vehicle or just certain lights that you'd want so really cool really cool option that ford's doing that in most of their vehicles now and i think it's awesome especially in the truck so there's that settings again you can go through some settings here but again i typically like the audio here in the nav over on this side but again if you want to just switch it up just hit that arrow and then you're good to go so that's pretty much it for the screen guys we have your push button start over on this side and the sandstone color carries throughout here climate controls down below now the nice thing is too with the high package you actually get your 360 camera so you push this button up here the camera quality is actually really really good um, you can kind of go through the different camera angles here auto stop starts down here turn the camera off and this is your basically when you're backing up if you don't notice anything it will actually apply the brakes for you tuning knob volume knob other tuning stuff here climate controls down here heated seats no heated steering wheel, you need the lux luxury package to get that. So heated seats down here, rear defrost. And then down here, we actually have USBs and a USB-C. Well, USB, USB-C. This is pretty cool here, designed by Ford, designed and engineered by Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, USA, built at Michigan Assembly Plant. I don't know if you guys can see that, just right there. Shifters here, I actually like it. It feels really good to the touch. Pretty easy stuff, nothing too crazy cup holders down below well this is your goat mode you're going any terrain mode so awesome feature when you turn this okay it will prompt up different modes you can go to in the infotainment so i'll show you so while i turn it okay you know there's normal there's eco there's sport it's like the world is freaking on fire we got slippery we got mud and ruts we got sand and then with the wild track you get the baja mode but it will turn your 4x4 setting when you do change so again i like just obviously i went normal mode and again it'll just shift to too high which is really really cool so you have that as well this is kind of like your off-road cruise control for slow speeds you have your four auto which is awesome four high four low and two high awesome mode here for the driver depending on what terrain you're going in now your window controls are actually down here to use your windows if your doors well if, well if your doors are off then you can't use them but anyways your window controls are here this is actually for your mirrors to control your mirrors and obviously window locks here opening the center console here we have some storage so we have a pocket here you can put some change or whatever and then you have some stuff down here um, 12 volt down here if you'd like to put anything but nothing too crazy for the bottom here of the center console of the Bronco now we do have some auxiliary stuff up here if you'd like to put maybe obviously a, a light bar um, there's other stuff you can do which I can't wait to see for people to do 
But up here we have, we have some auxiliaries, you have six, so you can change them accordingly. Your light controls, uh, no sunroof obviously, because you can actually take these off. But then we get your visor here as well. It's pretty much it guys. Um, honestly, this, this Bronco is the one of the coolest trucks I've ever seen. I'm so happy Ford killed it with this production line. And I'm just excited for their owners to finally receive their, their factory order of their Bronco. It just looks so, so good. And if you see one and it's on the lot, I beg for you to go take it out for a ride. I, I doubt there's going to be a lot available for dealerships, but I'm telling you right now, you will not be disappointed. So let's actually go take a look at the price of this one. guys. So let's take a look at the price here. I actually removed this window sticker ever so gently because I know someone's going to want to keep this. So anyways, price here, 67834 Canadian. Would recommend going to the off-rodeo, the Bronco off-road off rodeo. I think it's going to be such a blast if you go and you own your Bronco. Now up here, we have some standard features here on the Wild Track. And then over here, it is equipment 353A. Now this does have some options with that. So you have the high package, the 360 camera, which is included in there and well the 12 inch screen as well now here are some things the 17 inch black aluminum beadlock rims are there the hard top molded in color which is the hard top the front row top panel storage bag um, which was that bag actually we saw in the back now sound detonating headliner is what i told you it's the soft material floor liners well track body side graphic your towing package on it your navigation leather trim seats and then obviously your front license plate so that's pretty much it for the price. Let's take a look around the vehicle and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my review of the Ford Bronco Wild Track. Honestly, again, like I said, it exceeded my expectations. I definitely think that this vehicle is worth the wait. And once you get yours, you're not going to be disappointed. It is just a beautiful vehicle inside and out. I don't have any really bad things to say about it. I mean, taking it out for a ride too. The independent front suspension, I think is a decent, it's actually a good idea because most of these people are probably gonna be daily driving this. So having a front axle isn't bad, obviously. Um, you do have that front locking capability, but I, I don't think it was a bad idea for them to actually do the independent. Obviously you have the solid rear end, which is good, but let me know what you guys think. I'm happy I actually got to see one. We'll see you in my next video. Please down below, let me know what Bronco you ordered. Let me know what spec tell me i want to hear more and what you guys think so we'll see you in my next video cheers